Welcome to the Federal Aviation Administration's Community Engagement Video Series. This video provides an overview of operations at Portland International Airport, located in Portland, Oregon. Portland International Airport is located approximately 10 miles east of the city center along the Columbia River and has been in this location since 1940. With the current runway configuration since the 1950s, the airport is often referred to by its aviation identifier, PDX. In 2021, the airport served nearly 12 million passengers traveling to and from the greater Portland, Oregon and Vancouver, Washington areas. PDX serves as a hub for Alaska Airlines and Horizon Air. A total of 16 airlines operate out of PDX from 54 terminal gates. The airport accounts for the majority of Oregon's air travel and air cargo. It is also the home of the 142nd Fighter Wing of the Oregon Air National Guard that fly F-15 fighter jet aircraft. Runways are aligned to take advantage of prevailing winds in the area and are built to align with historical wind patterns. It's safest for aircraft to take off and land into the wind. PDX has three runways. There are two runways oriented from east to west, which are parallel to each other. The third runway is a crosswind runway, running north to south. Runway identification is based on the compass heading the aircraft is facing as it lands or takes off. For example, Runway 1028 is facing approximately 100 degrees in one direction and 280 degrees in the opposite direction. If you drop the zero at the end of the compass heading, you will get 10 and 28. Parallel runways are further designated with L for left and R for right, which explains runway 10 left, 28 right, and runway 10 right, 28 left. The crosswind runway is oriented from 30 degrees to 210 degrees, resulting in the name runway 321. Runway selection at the airport is determined by several factors. Wind direction, weather, and runway availability are a few of these determining factors. Due to its location at the end of the Columbia River Gorge, the airport is subject to fluctuating winds. These winds are a major factor in which runways are in use. These winds vary throughout the seasons, causing air traffic changes. Wind direction varies throughout the year and generally comes from the east and west. Therefore, aircraft depart and arrive to the east and west. The FAA oversees the safe and efficient movement of aircraft throughout the national airspace system, including air traffic into and out of Portland International Airport. The most important responsibilities of an air traffic controller are to ensure airplanes are safely separated from each other and from obstacles including terrain, while maintaining the most efficient flow of air traffic. The departure flow depends on the wind direction. In the cooler months, aircraft most often depart to the east on runway 10 left or runway 10 right. And in the warmer months, aircraft most often depart to the west on runway 28 left or 28 right. Departing aircraft will fly straight, then continue over the river and on course to its destination for east and west flow. Departing Air National Guard flights will typically use their own flight procedures. Since the parallel runways are nearly one half mile apart, you may see two aircraft on approach, each lined up for a parallel runway. In the past, aircraft flew point to point by passing over ground-based navigational aids. Now, aircraft predominantly use satellite-based procedures, which allow pilots and controllers to use more direct routes, including arrivals that use a continuous idle descent called Optimized Profile Descent, or OPD. An OPD arrival reduces emissions by allowing aircraft to glide down on idle power instead of the traditional stair-step descent. This continuous descent starts many miles away from the airport. At Portland, this efficiency also allows aircraft arriving and departing at different airports to be safely separated, including those operations at Pearson Field in Vancouver, Washington, which is located less than four miles from PDX. Air National Guard aircraft will either fly a standard arrival path or may fly a continuous descent overhead approach in which aircraft fly closer to the runway. This maneuver is done during the day using the parallel runways. 
When the airport is operating all three runways simultaneously, air traffic control will sequence arrivals to ensure to maintain the required separation in the air and also once on the ground. Typically, runway 321 is used by smaller aircraft, such as propeller airplanes. The airport has a long-standing comprehensive noise program, first implemented in the early 1980s. The airport, FAA, and Oregon National Guard continue to work together to ensure operators are aware of the program and noise abatement procedures, which includes flying over the Columbia River and avoiding populated areas. Over the past 30 years, the airport has implemented noise abatement procedures, a fly quiet program, and a citizen noise advisory committee. The airport continually monitors aircraft operations and conducts outreach with all operators about the preferred departure and arrival procedures. The FAA continually updates and modernizes the national airspace system to improve how pilots and air traffic controllers navigate and communicate. The FAA's mission is to provide the most efficient airspace system in the world, but to do so in the safest manner, recognizing the needs of all stakeholders. To learn more about how the FAA engages with communities, visit our website.